So what we're looking at now is a slide of the pituitary gland. Um, there is an anterior and posterior portion to the pituitary, so we're looking at the anterior right now. And there's three cells that you should be able to identify. There's acidophils, there's basophils, and then there's chromophobes. All right, so with the acidophils, they usually stain a more of a hot pink color. Um, they got their name because of the staining process. Acidophil, phil means love, right? So they love acid stains. Um, but these are more responsible for producing the non-tropic hormones from the pituitary. So prolactin and growth hormone are found in these cells or produced in these cells. Versus the basophils, which stain more of a purple color, and basophil meaning love more alkaline dyes and stains. Um, these are responsible for producing the tropic hormones. So uh, the four tropic hormones of your pituitary are the adrenocorticotropic hormone, your thyroid stimulating hormone, um, your follicle stimulating hormone, and your luteinizing hormone. And then the last cell that you should be able to see here is your chromophobe. And there's still a lot we don't know about these cells and what they produce. Um, one of the hormones they think uh, these cells are responsible for is melanocyte stimulating hormone which stimulates cells in your body to produce melanin. All right, next I'm going to go over to the posterior pituitary. All right, so here's your posterior pituitary. Um, again, this is more of a direct connection to your hypothalamus. Um, so in here, you're going to see a lot of the nerve fibers of the neurons from your hypothalamus that travel down into this part of the pituitary gland. And you should also be able to see the pituocytes, which are the cells that are actually going to house these hormones that the hypothalamus has made. Okay, so now we're looking at the thyroid and parathyroid slide. So first, we're looking at the thyroid here. And what you're seeing is those colloid filled follicles of your thyroid and surrounding those follicles are the follicular cells. So the follicular cells are what's going to make thyroglobulin and that is going to be stored as colloid inside those colloid filled follicles and thyroglobulin is really what synthesizes the thyroid hormones and actually can store the thyroid hormones as well. Um, what you also can see here are the C cells which are between these follicles, and those are responsible for making the hormone calcitonin, which is part of what regulates the calcium in your blood. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and move down to the parathyroid. All right, here at the parathyroid, you're gonna see two types of cells. Uh, the first one is your parathyroid cells, and these are responsible for secreting parathyroid hormone, which is going to increase the calcium levels in your blood. And you also see oxyphil cells here, um, which we really don't know the function of those. That's still being debated. But that's it. That's it for the thyroid and parathyroid. Okay, so now we're going to look at a pancreas slide. And what we're looking for here is more of the endocrine part of the pancreas. And the endocrine cells are usually housed together in structures called islets of Langerhans. So here's one here. They're usually lighter in color. The cells around it are called acinar cells, and those are more used for digestion. So here in this circle of lighter cells is really where the endocrine cells are for the pancreas. So I'm going to go ahead and try to zoom in. So I don't know if this is going to show up on the camera, but cells that stain a little darker, these are going to be your alpha cells. So there's two types of endocrine cells inside uh, the islet of Langerhans. There's alphas and betas. Alphas tend to stain a little darker, and they're the ones that are more responsible for producing glucagon, while the rest of them are these lighter cells out here. And again, we're looking at we're looking at the rest of the cell. We're not looking at the nucleus specifically. We're looking at the color of the rest of the cell. But here, they're a little lighter. These are all your beta cells, and the beta cells are what's responsible for making the insulin in your body. And again, this Isle of Langerhans is all surrounded by all these acinar cells out here, which is more used for digestion. All right, that's all we're covering in this video.